Hello! You've seen Conor McGregor punch out candles, but this is absolutely beautiful. It glints inside towards the level of mastery Max Holloway strives towards. It's no wonder this machine has made it to the top. His precise meticulous movement, his rare ability to match technique and precision with overall volume, it all starts to make a lot more sense. Truly, Max Holloway is a master of his craft. That said, Spinning techniques are very viable, simplicity you know, should always hold priority, but even as Muay Thai legend Nikki Holtzkin displayed, simplicity when paired with a touch of surprise can create a powerful result. Let's actually dive deeper into this technique. Every technique leaves a window of opportunity. The bigger the window of opportunity, the greater the risk. This technique is very powerful, but if it is overused or just not properly set up, it could get timed against. In this instance, Chris Weidman did not generate enough force and caught Luke behind the shoulder. Thus, when it was absorbed without dealing any significant damage, not knocking him off balance really, Chris was the one off balance with his back now facing Luke. Naturally, this invited Luke's dangerous level of jujitsu. Edouard Foliang, on the other hand, had his kick timed against as the fight progressed. Martin clearly drilled to deal with this technique, moving in and with the rotation of the strike, entering the window of opportunity. Mid-execution, every technique you know, has an opening, but if you can condition a reaction or read your opponent's next decision, you can time against it. Here, both are southpaw, thus the southpaw philosophy would be the exact same if both are orthodox. Tenshin Nasakawa has been conditioning Wanchalong PK Sanchai with his lead. Whether it be touching as a gauge, a jab, etc., typically Tenshin's lead would set up more powerful follow-up. His lead touching into a cross or maybe into a tie plume, then knee or maybe just simply a jab. Wanchalong was queuing onto this Tenshin's constant use of his lead, but here, Watch how Wanchalung PK Sanchai slips his head offline to avoid the jab. Here's the thing though, this is not boxing, this is kickboxing. Watch how Tenshin Nasakawa's rotation feigns the lead's extension by moving his shoulder in closer. This cues Wanchalung PK Sanchai to not only slip, but counter a punch that never existed. It truly is tragic for the man, for as he slips, it only worked to move him against the kick's rotation. Another way this kick can be used is to catch someone who's circling away from your power hand, regardless of if you're southpaw or orthodox. For Conor McGregor, it is a classic tool to his kit. Southpaw versus orthodox in this instance, whenever someone would circle away from his power hand or he knew they would raise their guard high in response to his Celtic cross, spinning it can feign the slight load up of one's cross which in turn creates an opening against their body. Watch here. How with the slight feint of his lead, Conor McGregor cues Chad to defend. But here's the thing, look where Chad's eyes are looking. He's looking out for the possibility of a cross. This is what Conor McGregor's conditioning accomplished. Respect. Unfortunately though, for Chad Mendes, he sought to defend a strike that never existed leaving his body wide open. The onslaught of kicks, body blows, they took the wind out of Chad and conditioned him back down into a state of uncertainty whether to defend high or low. Thus, as McGregor limited his options, had him overwhelmed, mentally broken, gassed, his signature, left straight, came in and secured victory. Miyamoto Musashi, you win battles by knowing the enemy's timing and by using a timing which the enemy does not expect. This technique is dangerous not just because it can generate tremendous power of irritation, but because of its element of surprise. Given setup, novelty, and the right timing, building a foundation off of simplicity like a textbook jab or a cross, when you Feel your opponent conditioned off the simple fundamentals, that is when this technique is truly dangerous. It works especially great when setup is conditioned off of boxing because if your opponent looks to counter against your boxing, a spinning kick, it typically moves your torso, thus your head out of range as you spin your foot into your opponent. This may cause them to not only miss, but also run them into the blow. Truly is a dangerous technique. That said, this gives testament to the philosophy when timing and preparation meet opportunity. Anything 
as possible. Let this philosophy encompass not just the martial arts, but life in its entirety. To that end, whether it be the kick or the philosophy, I hope it serves you well on your journey. If you're enjoying my work, please subscribe and hit the notifications. Perhaps ask your friends to do the same. It truly does help the channel. Thank you if you did. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. It's good karma. And until next time, peace.